I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Missouri Tigers and the Crimson Tide of Alabama. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here comes the Crimson Tide. The Crimson Tide should have their way with this team. Herbie, why don't you tell us about their star? Alabama will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. All right, here you go, kids. I'm taking Bama. Whoa. Alabama is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Temple takes it to 15. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Guys, who do you think we have to keep an eye on today? Watch out. This defensive end is going to make the biggest impact on this game. He'll be lined up against a left tackle who just isn't good enough to block. Him. Coach, I agree with you 100%. This guy is good. He plays at a magnificent level. And I don't think they're going to be able to stop him today. They line up at the 30. Second down. Daniel is back in the gun. Daniel drops back. He throws. It's complete. Brought down at the 36-yard line. They'll get six yards. From their own 36-yard line, it's third and eight. The Tide come out in a 34 defense. He steps up, lets it fly. Castillo picks it off. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab the interception. This guy's got potential. I'll tell you what, if he keeps it up, you might see him playing on Sundays. The offense will start at the 24-yard line. First and 10. The Crimson Tide set up in the gun. First down, look at the throw. Catches it. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. Uh, the quarterback and receiver spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. Second and short. Ball on their own 33. They come out with four wideouts. Drops back to pass. Tosses short. Has it to the senior. Dunn picks him up about three yards with a catch. The defense was there, but they just couldn't get to the ball carrier in time. Nice first down pickup. We've got a first and 10. A little juke. Grant with the tackle at the 40. They line up at the 40. Second and six coming up here. Ingram, the lone back, gets rid of it quickly. It's deflected. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. So that'll make it third down. Third and it's six. third down. Ball on the 40-yard line. It as he throws. He snags it. Fine. With a takedown at the 42. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 21. The Tide are lining up with three receivers. Looking, throws, and they've got the screen set up. And they back up three yards on that play. It's fourth down. This kick will be from about 41 yards out. 
Number three can bring his team back within a touchdown. The kick is up. And they tack on three points. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. Alabama to kick this one off. And it's off. Neck four makes it to 21. Neck four probably just has a stinger here. We'll keep you updated on his status. I'm not so sure how he did it exactly, but he's favoring that foot of his. Hopefully he just rolled it over. They'll start at the 30-yard line. Missouri comes to the line with three wide. Tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. Daniel with three wide receivers. Here's the give. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Temple picks up a yard on the play. Third We've got and third and 12. Ball on their own 28. Daniel is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. He lets it go. The ball is tipped. He wasn't letting the receiver get to that one. That's a big play on third down to get a hand in there and break up the pass. I think the quarterback would like to have that one back. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. And sports and sports and first down. Well, it's not fourth down, but for some reason, the punter's on the field. Ingram is back to receive. Callahan punts it away, and this one's got some distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? Well, the old kicker can stop warming up because it's forward down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game again. They'll work from the shotgun. And here's a quick throw. Catches it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Drop back a yard. Second From their own 19-yard line, the 19 it's second yard. down. He drops back. He throws left. And he got it! What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. On play action, he delivers. He catches another to the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. We're now an extra point away from being tied up, folks. Wow, what a game. Come on, sweetheart. I'm ready for some overtime. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Alabama 13, Missouri 13. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Net four. Fields it at the 18. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. First down, 10 to go. Take over at the 34 yard line. First and 10. Missouri lines up with three receivers. Daniel drops to throw. That's incomplete. Temple was the intended receiver on the play, so that'll make it second down. Right. 
second it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Missouri lines up with a shotgun set. Dumps it. It falls incomplete. Overthrown intended for the wideout. It's third and ten. Ball on the 34. They come out in a five-wide set. Daniel, back to pass. He guns it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Whoa! Missouri lining up the punt. Ingram back deep to return. Callahan punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Ingram fields it at the 18. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll take over at the 21. Setting up the play action. He gets the pass away. Incomplete after the defense got in his face and punished him as he released the football. The offensive line is just opening the floodgates on him. They line up at the 21. It's second and 10. Ingram lines up as a single back. Looks to pass. Throws it to the outside. And it's caught. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. Alabama will take their first time out of the half. We've got third and three here. Ball on their own 28. There's a play fake. He looks. He throws left. Got him again. But hold on. We got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. The penalty is declined. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He unloads it. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And that's the end of the fourth quarter, and we're going to take this deadlock into overtime. Some of the folks at home may not know how college overtime works, so I'm going to run down the rules for you. Each team will get the ball at the 25-yard line with a chance to score. If the game is still tied after both teams have had the ball once, we'll do it all over again. And remember, if this goes past double overtime, each team must go for two if they score a touchdown. No more extra points. Single set backfield. Ingram runs a counter. Frazier takes him down for a loss. They lost too much yardage that time. What do you think, Coach? I think you can't blame the back on that one. I don't care how good an athlete you are. You're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without some blocking. Ace backfield. Sheds that one. He breaks the second tackle. Neck four. Tackles him at the 20. Good execution on the counter, and that'll be a 10-yard gain. Ingram, the lone back, tosses left. Sam gets in the backfield for a loss. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. Yep, I love this kid. He's a great run stopper as well as a great pass rusher. He's the real deal, Kirk. He can do it all. He gets it up. And they tack on three points. So the kicker does his part, but now this offense will come out onto the field just a touchdown away from a victory. This is the most exciting scenario in college football. Down by three in overtime. Because in just one play, you can win or lose the game. You're right, Coach. It definitely puts some added pressure on the quarterback to move the ball forward and at least put this kicker in better field goal range. Yeah, I bet he's not thinking about the kicker, though. He's thinking about the end zone. 
They line up at the 21. Second down. The Tigers line up with four wideouts. There's a missed tackle. They'll get him for a loss. This is what you call a run blitz. The key is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 22. They'll work from the shotgun. Daniel back to throw. Incomplete pass. It's fourth down, and I think we'll be seeing the kicker here, Kirk. You know how I feel. I never like putting this much pressure on a kicker. If he misses it, then he'll be the goat on campus for the rest of the year. It's a good thing he can't hear you from up here in the box. The kick is up, and he's got it. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Hold it. Only on this. The kick is good. So it looks like we're going to head to another overtime, fellas. This game just keeps getting better. Yeah, and how about the kicking game, Coach? We just saw two very clutch kicks to keep this game knotted up. You've always been hard on the kickers, Kirk. I'm glad to see you giving them some love. Here's a quick throw. He snags it. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there, and that ball was thrown in the right spot. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 21. Missouri in a four-wide set. Temple gets the ball, and down he goes at the 21. Nothing gained on the play. Third down, six to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Missouri lines up in a shotgun set. Steps up, slips it short. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. That was some big-time defense, but in order to get the win, they've got to protect the football. And most importantly... I tell you what's more important. Stay away from the kicker. Don't say a word to him, sweetheart. You don't want to do anything to jinx that kid. Ingram is the single setback. He steps up. He's looking for his man. They'll bring him down at the 13. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. It's up, and it's right there. <laughs> Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler, and alongside me are Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Mercury will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the Texas Longhorns and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Buckeyes. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Ohio State needs a big game from their talented running back, and I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory, but Lee, it's going to be very close. I'm smelling something, and it's an upset. There's no way Texas loses this game. Texas lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Kicks off. George takes it to 15. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. 
He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right. He's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. It's second and seven. Ball on the 34. Pryor comes to the line with three wide. They run a counter. Daly brings him down at the 37-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third down and four coming up on this one. From the gun. They hand it off again. Jackson with a takedown at the 42-yard line. They picked up the first down on the ground attack. You know, great job there by the offense on a crucial third down lead to pick up that first down. Kirk, did you see the way those guys blocked on that play? That was beautiful. First down. Three wide outs here. They'll run the option. The defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. And hey, Kirk, that leaves a big hole out there. But on plays when they run the ball, it works. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Pryor lines up in the shotgun. And down he goes at the 43. Gain of less than a yard on the play. They'll line it up again on third down. Pryor with three wide receivers. Looks, got hit as he threw. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. The defender made a solid effort to get to the ball there. Nice stop. Ohio State ready to put this one away. Number 17 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Fields it at the 19. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than their counterparts. First down. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Darts it to the right, and it's caught. Brought down at the 27. Nice little catch there, huh, coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. We've got a second and five. Lane comes to the line with three wide. He's under pressure. They brought him down for the sack at the 21-yard line. It's third and 11. Ball on their own 21. Texas comes out of the shotgun. He steps up. He throws it. Catches it. He's taken down at the 28. Fourth down, Coach. Yeah, they just didn't give him. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. And he hits the PAT. So with just over two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Texas 14, Ohio State 13. Texas gets set to kick this one away. Kicks it away. Number 42 takes it at the eight, breaks one. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? Well, at this point in the game, either a field goal or touchdown will give them the lead. Yep, the best thing this offense can ask for is points on the board. They can worry about the clock later. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. Pryor looking to throw on first down. Over the middle, and it falls incomplete. And that was out of reach for his tight end. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Ohio State lines up with three receivers. Jefferson makes the sack. They line up at the 24. 
Third down, 15. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Steps up. He's looking for his man. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something the defense really liked. They line up at the 44. First down. Pryor is back in the gun. First down, look at the throw. And it's caught. Clark with the tackle at the 47. A pickup of about three. Second, Second down. Yeah. High formation here. Pryor steps back to pass. And this one's going to get intercepted. Tackle made at the 46. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Young lines up in the shotgun. A little misdirection. And they got him for a loss. Loss of three. They line up at the 49. It's second down. Texas comes out in the shotgun. They give to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. It's third and 11. Ball right around midfield. Texas comes to the line with three wide. He's looking. He's in trouble. Lost the ball. Fumble. And the offense picks it up. Boy, they dodged a bullet right there, fellas. More like dodging a missile. They have the lead. It's the fourth quarter. They have to protect the ball. But the defense is doing whatever it can to get the ball back. Remember, they're still in this ball game. Galloway is the deep man awaiting the return. He gets it off. Galloway takes it at the 16. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? They just need to do anything they can do to put points on the board. Yep, there's no more chances after this one, Kirk. They'll start this drive at the 17. Ohio State comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Batted ball, almost picked off. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. That'll make it second down. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 32. Ohio State goes with the ace set here. Rolls right. Tosses short. The ball is tipped. Incomplete. Almost picked off. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 32. So it's second and 10. Ohio State comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. Throws it out there. Almost intercepted. He still hasn't completed a pass this drive, but we may see another one here. From their own 32-yard line. Third down. Ohio State sets up in the eye. He's looking to pass. He steps up. He unloads it. He snags it. He's hit and taken down. This one should be interesting. Pass interference on the defense. First down. Ohio State will take a timeout. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 49. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. Ohio State will take their second time out of the half.
This is the type of kick that puts you on the map. If you miss, you're just another kicker. If you make it, you're praised forever. It doesn't look like they trust that they're going to kick it here. They'll stay in a base defense. It's up. Yes, he made it, and this one is over. So they take the late lead with that clutch field goal. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Ohio State 16, Texas 14. Everybody, Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. We're coming to you from inside the dome here tonight for our battle between the LSU Tigers and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here comes the Fighting Irish. The Tigers have a slight edge in this one, but Kirk, I think anybody can win. What are your thoughts? LSU has one of the most complete players on their defense. His instincts are like no other linebacker in the nation, and you rarely see him miss a tackle. Look for him to be a big reason as to why they win today. Hey, Kirk, AARP isn't calling this one wrong. I'm taking LSU. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He sends it off. Number five, fields it at the three. Can't wrap him up. At the 30. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Our key player to watch in today's game is on the field right now at cornerback. The coaches tell us that he's the most talented player on this entire defense. But today, he's going to have his hands full as he goes up against a very good wide receiver. This is by far the biggest matchup of the game today. We'll find out how good this corner really is. Kirk, he is the real deal. Take my word for it. This corner can play. Second and nine. Ball on their own 37. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. Once and all, going deep. It's tipped. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky that ball was only tipped. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Let's it fly. The defender had it and then dropped it. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage and now they'll have to punt. The Fighting Irish line up to punt. Number 10 is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Number 13 takes it to 25. This is a great opportunity here for the offense to try to get an early lead on this first drive. The offense will start at the 27-yard line. Russell lines up in the shotgun. Russell on first down. He delivers. Complete. Brought down at the 34-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. They line up at the 34. Second down. LSU comes to the line with three wide. He passes it. Incomplete pass. The quarterback saw the blitz and let it fly, but too high. Oh, that rhymes. We've got third and three here. The Tiger line up in a goal line formation. Rolls right. Russell delivers. Way to look it in here. Ball on their own 25. Going with the shotgun here. Play fake, throws to the middle, and this one falls incomplete. 
He overthrew the receiver. From their own 25-yard line, third down, five yards to go. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. Inside handoff. It was a defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. They line up to punt this one away. Number 10 awaits the snap. Punts the ball away. Number 13 fields it at the 34. This is a pretty important possession for this defense, wouldn't you say, guys? Most certainly. They can't afford to let this offense score again. They need a big stop right here. You couldn't be more right, Coach. This is a very important possession for both teams. They'll go to work at the 38. Number 15 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They hand off on the counter. So they'll lose some yards on that counter play, guys. Yeah, there was no misdirection on the defense, that's for sure. These guys stayed in their lanes and made a very nice play. They line up at the 38. Second down, 10 yards to go. They line up in an eye. Russell gives it up the middle. Tackle at the 41. Three yards there on the play. Third down and seven to go. Ball on the 41. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. He heaves it deep. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 19-yard line. Kirk, what do you have for us? Well, that catch put the receiver over 100 yards. He's been one of the quarterback's favorite targets all game long. LSU lines up in a goal line set. Russell with the give. He's tackled at the 17. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. From the 17-yard line, second down. Number 15 lines up in the deep back, high formation. Joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Michigan Wolverines and the Oklahoma Sooners. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Sooners. The Sooners look like the better team on paper, but what do you think of this matchup here, Kirk? Oklahoma should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. Nice pick, Kirk. Boomer Sooner. Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He kicks it. Wright takes it at the 21. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. They'll start at the 36. First and 10. Murray is the single setback. Murray gets the ball, and they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Murray gains about five yards on the run. That'll bring up second down. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 41. Murray, the lone back. White steps back to pass. He's right there for the interception. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. Kirk, 
He made it look easy. You can tell this kid has seen the end zone before. That was a very good play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 38. The Wolverine set up in the gun. Steps up in the pocket. He snags it. And he's tackled at the 33. Hadley picks up around five yards with that catch. And what a great job of blocking up front to give the quarterback time to deliver the first down pass. First and 10. Ball on the 33. Michigan lines up in a shotgun set. First down, look at the throw. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. That'll make it second down. They line up at the 33. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Wolverines are lining up with three receivers. Throws it. Incomplete. He was wide open, guys. They missed a big opportunity on this play. He had a guy open, but he just couldn't get him the ball. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Brady with four wide receivers. Brady steps back to pass. Complete. Merrill tackles him for a loss on the play. Loss of about two. And this will be a very long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And the wind's going to push that one just enough. He missed it. That is a big miss at this stage of the game. This offense still has enough time to make a trip down the field and potentially win the game. And I love it when the game is on the line. All they have to do is get enough yards to get the kicker in position to win the game. They'll throw on first down. Caught. And down he goes at the 48. The tight end with a nice catch there. First and 10, ball on the 48. Murray is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Let's it fly, and it's caught. Hill tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Taken back three yards. Congratulations to our players of the game. These guys were playing on a very high level today. Murray lines up in the deep back, eye formation. White loses the handle. Offense falls on it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. Third down. Ball on the 36-yard line. High formation here. White back to throw. Throws. Intercepted off the tip. That interception could change the whole face of this game. One thing about this interception, it couldn't have come at a better time for this football team. Now all they need to do is get some points on the board. Ball on the 42. First and 10. Brady is back in the gun. Looks to pass. Brady passes. Excellent open field tackle. Only three yards there on the throw. Second down. The Wolverine line up with five receivers. Dumps it. It's complete. Quinn brings him down at the 45. The Wolverines call a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Michigan comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Looks. Let's it fly. Pruitt with the tackle at the 44. Just a minute, folks. There's a penalty on that play. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. 
Automatic. So the down. offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. We've got a first and ten. Ball of the 29. The Wolverine have five receivers on this play. Throwing left. It's tipped. They can't connect. Incomplete. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped Second up and 10. made the play. Ball on the 29 and this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. Base defense out there against this field goal attempt. They must be thinking fake here. The kick is up. And he's got it. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Well, he better stop celebrating. There's still time on the clock, and he has to kick the ball off. 